Hello and welcome to Food Tech 101. Today we're going to make a really easy, tasty dish, a tomato tart with lovely puff pastry and the rich herb pesto. Before we get started, just do me a quick favour. Click that subscribe button and hit that little bell icon so you'll be the first to know whenever I upload a new video. Okay, let's get to it. For this practical, you will need about 150 grams of grated cheese. You can use vegan cheese or regular cheese, entirely up to you. Four large tomatoes, two spoonfuls of pesto. You can also use tomato puree as an alternative if you wish. And one packet of pre-rolled puff pastry. If you can't find any puff pastry in the shops, then get any kind of pre-rolled pastry because some pastry is better than none. So step one for making our tomato tart, it's quite simple. Just Get your puff pastry and unroll it onto a baking tray. Step two, once you've done that, just get a sharp knife and lightly score around the outside, leaving a border of about an inch right around the outside. Don't cut all the way through the pastry, just score the top layer. This leaves a nice border crust, so when it's baking, that area will puff up beautifully and brown up lovely in the oven. It's important to leave a border because it also tells you when it's cooked. If you cover the whole thing in sauce and toppings, it's difficult to know when it's cooked and no area will actually fully puff up and you won't get the benefit of that nice puff pastry. Once you've created your border, then just put some little marks or impressions in the pastry. This helps the heat to transfer through when baking, which helps bake the middle a bit more easily. Step three of this super simple tasty dish is to just get a few spoonfuls of pesto. Again, if you don't like pesto, you can use tomato puree as an alternative or any kind of stuff you'd normally use for a pizza base. It works just as well, but pesto works really well because they get a nice herby flavor. So two spoonfuls of pesto and using the back of the spoon, just uh, rub it across the surface of that inner square you've created. When slicing your tomatoes, try and use an extremely sharp knife. The sharper the knife, the safer it actually is. And try and make sure you slice your tomatoes nice and evenly. So step four, couldn't be easier. Once you've got your pesto layer, just get your tomatoes and neatly lay them out across the surface. You could just scatter them if you wish, but it works quite well if you neatly lay them out in rolls right on top of the pesto surface. Now, as an addition, you can put a little bit of salt and pep and or pepper over the top before we finish off our preparation by sprinkling our grated cheese right across the top. And that's, that's really it, it is that simple. Bang it in the oven on about 200 degrees for about 20 minutes or until it's nice and fully puffed up. And here we go, it's fresh out of the oven. Now, if you can allow it to cool, it will set better, but if you can resist, either way, you can have it piping hot out of the oven, but it smells incredible. I'm just gonna slice a bit up. And this is a great dish to serve as a starter for a dinner party. It's simple, it's relatively cheap, but it also looks really amazing and tastes great, but also won't fill you up. So this with maybe a, a nice um, fresh salad would work really well. Wow. And here we go, fresh out of the oven. Let's give it a taste test. Now when you smell it, what you smell, you smell the herbs, the basil coming through really, really strong. It smells really, really good. You can see the pastry, that's puffed up really, really well. Now we're using something called a standard component. When you use uh, pre-made products, they refer to a standard component. So the puff pastry that we're using is an example of a standard component. Also, the pesto sauce, because it's already ready-made, that's another example of a standard component. So these uh, are very easy dish to make just using standard components. Let's taste it, see what it tastes like. Mm. Oh. It's such a simple dish, it's really, really tasty. Now, it's really easy to make this a vegan dish. This one isn't because I've used regular cheese. All you have to do is use a vegan cheese and it's a vegan dish because the pastry is a vegetable-based pastry. So, not very much to make it into a vegan dish. 
if you're lactose intolerant or for whatever reason you can't eat cheese, then it can be easily converted. But what a nice dish. And there we have it, a simple, tasty, pretty, easy dish to make that would grace a table of any dinner party. Well, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, my name is Mr. Liebird, but you can call me Sir. <laughs>